In this video I'll be showing you my recent solo backpack hunting trip. This is my second season doing backpack hunting, but my first solo trip. I have a run in with a buck on this trip, so make sure to finish the video to see what happens. 30 yards away. 3x3 three three buck. I see the buck again. Probably about 100 yards. Alright, made it to the trailhead. Just got my bag all packed up. Got my Garmin. I'm actually going to put that on my body right now. Bag's all packed up. Probably about 50 pounds. Got my phone charging right now. Beautiful country. Nobody's here at all. Got the bino harness on. Gonna get the head mount going. It's looking good. No one's here. Gonna head, hike, start hiking in. We got about a four and a half, five mile hike to go. Got my sidearm. Range finder. Gonna polish off this water and strap the jug to my bag so I have a little bit more carrying capacity. Taking a little break. This hike, <clears throat> this hike is a lot harder than I anticipated. A lot of uphill. I think I'm almost at the top of the hill before it drops back down, but that means I'll have to be coming up this hill, hopefully with a harvested deer. Also, I saw some tracks on the trail near the start. I saw a lot of game trails too, so that's a good sign. Ran into a bunch of koi over here. See if I can scare him out again. A little bit of bear scat. 4.30. Started hiking about 2.40. About two hours in. Probably about two more hours to go. Alright, I was descending the hill. Heading down to those oak trees down there. My plan was to hike down the ridge and camp out on the ridge line. There's this beautiful, beautiful glassing area out here. Big open hillsides. Honestly, guaranteed there's probably a deer out here. Some big bucks for sure. But it's just too much for a solo mission. Too dangerous. I'm running out of daylight. The trail is disappearing here. I'm getting lost. I just don't think it's safe to keep going down this hill. I don't think I'll make it down there by sundown so i'm gonna head back up the hill i'm only partially way down camp at a nice flat spot have a nice dinner relax and reassess in the morning dang look what i just found looks like a deer leg bone All right, I'm up. It's about 6.40. I just left to look for water and or scout glass for deer. Hopefully find some water today. I have about a liter in my bladder and eight ounces in my bottle. I already found some water. It's not the best water, but it'll filter. Also found this fucking badass campsite. Wood stove. Fire pit with wood. Look at this grill and some logs. I'm gonna go do some hunting. Now that I know there's water. Pretty dirty. See how the filter does. It's going good so far. Bugs are absolutely swarming me. Or gnat flies. 
I decided to head back to camp and pack it up and look for a new hunting location closer to the trailhead because this water source was stagnant and my intended area that I was trying to go to was too steep and I was running out of water earlier. All packed up. Hey, that was the point of this trip was to scout, see if it was a good area. I thought it was on the e-scouting, but that proves to show you, you gotta put boots on the ground before you think it's a good spot. And now headed back in the direction of the trailhead to look for a new hunting location. Another thing to note from this trip is the acorns are plentiful, but they're also mostly green. There are some that are ready, but most of the acorns are still green and that'll be a good feeding source once they ripen up. All right, it's time to do some talking. A lot has changed since I last checked in. <clears throat> As I was hiking back, everything was packed up. I was hiking back. I'm like halfway back to the car, maybe more than halfway, 30 yards away. Three by three buck, a doe. I run into them, they're spooked, I'm spooked. I get out my rifle from my bag, they run over the ridge. So I follow a roundabout way up the ridge, find their tracks. I follow their tracks down to this little valley, a couple of ridges over. I spot the buck and the doe. Also I saw, so I saw that doe and the buck. Then I ran into like three or four more doe. So I follow their tracks, a couple of ridges over. I see the buck again. He's probably about a hundred yards. I get my rifle out. He's walking. He's not, I'm waiting for him to stand still so I can, I can pull the trigger. I'm just waiting for him to stand still. He keeps walking and he walks out of my reach behind a bush. Like there's a bush in front of me. I can't see him anymore. So I, I, I get up and I move and he sees me and I had him in my crosshairs. He was walking still, but he was in my crosshairs. I could have pulled the trigger. I just wanted him to stop so I could pull the trigger, so I could get a better shot. I would have pulled the trigger if he would have just stopped and then he saw me when i moved and he started darted up the hill into the canyon another ridge over so i found a new camping spot i'm gonna try to find this buck tonight so i'm gonna make up camp here get some water i found a really good water right next to my camp and hopefully find that buck Found a bunch of wild grapes. Pretty cool. I ran into some good deer sign at the top of this ridge here, so I decided to walk all the ridge lines in this area and glass down into the canyons below. I'm exhausted, but I'm giving it one last attempt. I want to peek behind. This big ridge. This is the direction that he came when I spooked him the second time. Let's see if he's back here. If not, he's long gone. My camp's down there by those oak trees. So I got a ways to go to get back to camp. All right, just packed up camp. Got buck, got back from the evening glass. Couldn't find the buck. I decided to pack up camp and night hike it out of here. I ran into that buck earlier this morning, about 10.30. Relaxed midday. Tried to find him again this evening. Had two encounters with him. 
I tracked them really well. I'm actually really happy with that. Good opening weekend. Looking forward to hunting some more this season. This was my first deer hunt of the season. Stay tuned for my upcoming hunts this season and my quest to fill my deer tag. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.